Hi, and welcome back to our Bible Reader's Companion. Today we're going to wrap up our look at Ephesians 3 and 4 by focusing upon the end of chapter 4. Let's specifically read from verse 17. This I say therefore, and testify in the Lord, that you should no longer walk as the rest of the Gentiles walk, in the futility of their mind. Skip to verse 22. That you put off concerning your former conduct, the old man which grows corrupt according to the deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that you put on the new man which is created according to God in true righteousness and holiness. When we are baptized into Christ, when we are come in contact with his blood, we need to be transformed. We should be changed by that. The way that we used to do, the things that we used to think about, the things that we used to act upon, and the way that we used to behave needs to be replaced. Those are the ways of sin. Instead, they need to be replaced by the ways of God. We need to be focused on the things that are holy, the things that he wants us to think about. We need to be doing the things that he calls us to do within the pages of the scriptures. How were you changed when you were baptized? What did you give up? What did you have to put away? And what did you replace that with? What are you thinking about now? What are you doing to serve God that you didn't do before? How has Christ transformed you? Some thoughts to think about today as we go about our day. Let us never be um, complacent. Let us always be grateful for the things that he does for us. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps as we go throughout the day. Come back on Monday when we'll take a look at Ephesians 5 and 6. Have a great day. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook for more content like this.